check for advanced restart button it's available as you can see here i'm booting into recovery using that if you don't have that use the traditional method to boot in recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button use this latest twrp recovery for poco x slash nfc i already made a dedicated video you can check out in my channel once it's booted into recovery go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select all these first five things excluding internal storage micro sd and usb otg just swipe here to wipe it once that has been done again go to home section here and select install and wherever you downloaded the rom zip file i am selecting here micro sd card go to firmware first always flash the firmware miui surya global 13.0.1.0 you can flash this firmware after a while it gets flashed and later again go to install and select here rom zip file in this video i am going to flash this evolution x 7.4 latest update available for poco x3 slash nfc i'll get a little bit closer such that you can see the version and updated version it is it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully here once that has been done again go to home section here and select here wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done now again go to home here and select reboot and select the system in order to boot into evolution x latest available update for poco x slash nfc in this video i am going to explain everything in detail regarding this particular rom stay tuned till the end of the video here we go it's booted into evolution x rom let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampathy watching sampath son of x youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews welcome guys and this is the evolution x 7.4 review on this particular poco x slash nfc and i like first thing i liked in this particular rom is the wallpapers you can see this cream color wallpaper is a little bit better and the widget settings are also given here the battery widget is also added if you want you can drag it and add here as you can see it takes a little bit of time to load and even the clock widgets like we have already seen from and at all that's still carried away with this particular rom it's really good i really like this particular rom you can see there's a quick settings panel we get in this particular rom and in the edit section there are a lot more options as you can see refresh rate vpn tattering volume panel usb tattering you can customize any of these things from here me sound and answer also you can access from the quick settings and how responsive this ui is i can't tell it out guys because i already made several episodes i mean several versions of this evolution x this is very stable for poco x and you can see there is a frequent updates is also been pushing by developers for this particular rom that's a good sign of any particular rom for poco x slash nfc and i have like 100 mps fiber connection here you can see here it's pulling up to 90 or like that it's fine no problem regarding internet connectivity like that there is no problem even with mobile internet connection also the 4g plus whatever we call carrier aggregation support is also there and i have been running the cpu throttling test you can see there are a little bit of peaks in the mobile line, but overall it's a very good performance if you like to see this kind of uh, charts then it's uh, fine for you as you can see the maximum is 191 and average is 179 and minimum is 160 it's throttle to 92 percent of its max performance which is fine in my opinion there is no yellow or red line in fact here but uh, that's how it is it's an app review and this is a hundred thread test guys and this is a dialer you get let me increase a little bit of volume and you can also see the volume panel here and you can see there is no direct video call feature here i don't know why that has been missed here let's check in the play store and update the apps no there is no update also in the app store but still you are not getting this is the thing that i have been skipped in this particular room the direct video call feature is simply missing here i don't know if someone want to make a lot more direct video calls without using any whatsapp or duo video calling then you need to be no need to switch this particular version of the evolution x you can stay on the previous version only and DRM information you get a level one certification such that you can watch all the 
OTT application in high definition resolution that's not problem in this particular ROM and benchmark results like Antutu you can see here you can see 3 lakh 59,995 and temperature raise was 1.3 degree Celsius and battery drop is 3 percent is during this entire testing of this antidote benchmark is which is pretty good in my opinion but uh, this also the just synthetic scores here practically the user interface is very responsive and very smooth enough and the geekbench scores like single score and multi score performance is not that great single score is just 515 and multi score is 1549 kernel user is linux 4.14.300 dex k kernel has been used here and uh, it's smooth and responsive the ui and uh, as you can see even in the settings panel it's very very smooth in my opinion if you have any particular questions in this particular rom you have any doubt while flashing you can check out my flashing method initially i shown you wouldn't face any problems if you use the same method and into gestures into system navigation gesture navigation you can see there is option to increase the pill radius and also uh, length also and you can see how beautiful it looks when you increase the radius and length it's personal preference but giving the option is very good in my opinion moving into other gesture settings you get one handed mode which is working fine double tap to check phone that's fine and swipe to three finger screenshot is also working fine as you can see just the direct video call feature should be added but that's missing in this particular rom and now moving back again other settings like security you get fingerprint and face unlock here and there is no app lock here and i will show you the fingerprint unlock speeds here as you can see the animation also you will get that wobbling effect that was there from android 12 12 l and 13 is still available and fingerprint unlock is or no face unlock you can see it's very very quick in my opinion the face unlock is little bit quicker compared to previous version and app opening times is also a little bit better compared to previous version we have, we have seen 7.3 and in order to get a bgm high scores and those uh, high fps and even the google photos unlimited storage you need to enable this from miscellaneous settings which is present in the evolver and basic customizations those are still available nothing change here you get these notifications and status bar customization and themes customization into dark mode you need to use this one and you enable that and use the vivid monet engine i mean the vivid monet then it will be in pitch black condition otherwise it will be like a little bit gray or anything themed icon you can see themed visual you can get it but i don't like it i like a complete pitch black condition once it's available in dark mode i mean mode into dark mode and animations buttons those customizations are still available here power menu also advanced restart button also available as you can see whenever you need to flash any other rom you can directly boot into recovery from here and the battery and battery life is still very good here you can see idle battery drain is very less but you can't expect a very good battery life like what we seen in spark os or ros that you need to keep in mind but still it's in good and performance is also very good you can see gestures are working fine this takes a little bit of time for first time later it will be a little bit easy to use and these are the apps i'm using google maps everything is working fine no problem and i have installed this arno build you game it's a pretty good camera i'm using from last uh, one and a half to two years now it's one of the best camera available for poco x3 slash nfc let me show you the settings here even you can use ultra wide angle in this particular camera application if want you can use any other gcam ports that's left to you i recommend to use this arno build gcam and nx camera support is also given here but you need to manually flash through magic magic model those things are given and file manager this is a google one and safety net status obviously it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm everything going to be work fine no problem in this particular rom and let's see bgm uh, the pubg model what all the graphic settings and how it handle in this particular rom and you can see here in the graphic settings is set to smooth plus 90 fps you need to enable that in the miscellaneous settings as i said before and i found one thing guys the game is a little bit smoother here it's it's a little bit smoother compared to any versions of evolution x it's because of the game update i can say 
you guys can see here that's how it is and we'll see here i muted the audio but still i don't know why i'm hearing that let's jump to boot camp and see and this is the volume set to it's fine here yeah? boot camp and device is getting warm is not a problem here because we are running at 90 fps it will definitely get warm for certain hours if you play the game you need to give break here and there and then you can use continuously you can play but the performance will not be the great enough that's you need to keep in mind guys and it will not be going to overheat or anything like that if you play unless until in high fps and high resolution that's like hdr and extreme if you enable using any other cheats or anything like that that's becoming a problem and you can see the gameplay was smooth but just i got killed here and let's check out the charging animation will it support a 33 watt charging and how it shows the animation let me check out here you can see here it is showing charging slowly only that's the one problem we seen in the previous update also let's see will it shows charging rapidly or not you can see it's still showing charging slowly only hence this is the thing they need to improve guys the slowly they are removing one or the other options here it's going to be a best rom but now i can't say this is the best rom available for poco x3 in 2022 i gave the title previous version but this is not the case with this version because they're slowly going to downgrade the rom that i really don't like it and moving into other settings like sound and vibration you get all the settings here me sound and as a direct sound settings high audio system and preset and headset type and even smart scene selection is also available here and other sound settings and even the haptic feedback you can adjust from here the level of <laughs> feedback strength you can adjust from here which is smooth enough in my opinion the haptic strength is fine here font you can customize them and dark theme and display size and text also you font you can increase or decrease from here bold text options and minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 120 and smooth display is also available and some of the other tests like jitter test is available display colors this is personal favorite for me if you want to increase the saturation you can do from here it looks a little bit better if you want it you can use that per app refresh rate is also given here as you can see the ways response is smooth enough but the promise of this evolution x is going to be a little bit worse compared to previous versions that you need to keep in mind if you want to use it as a daily driver i recommend to use the previous version and use the latest game update the game then it will be fine here that's how don't flash this particular rom there is no sense of flashing this particular rom over the 7.3 because there is no fast charging support here and also there is no direct video call feature in this particular rom these are the things you need to keep in mind and flashing method use the latest firmware in the previous version of the build also if you are using 7.3 stay on the 7.3 let's wait for 7.5 or 8.0 whatever it is then we can further proceed to this evolution x rom this is my review on evolution x 7.4 based on android 13 for poco x3 if you like the video give it a like guys and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button down below guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now